Hi, welcome to Draw to Tuesday. So the past weeks on and off, we've been working on perspective and actually letting it go and just playing around, making some playful, colorful drawings. But I do understand that you might be thinking, well, but how do I tackle perspective actually when I'm drawing from uh, observation or maybe even, you know, from um, uh, your memory or from imagination? The vanishing point, horizon line, it all sounds super difficult, but really it isn't. So let's have a look, shall we? Also, it is kind of a theory thing, so it's really helpful to know about these things, but it's not something you should be thinking about all the time when you are drawing. So that's just what I want to tell you before we dive in. It's really handy to know, but when you are drawing, you should feel free to do whatever you like. What I'm drawing here just looks like a simple triangle, but what if you add lines that grow closer to each other towards the triangle's top? Now suddenly you might see train tracks instead. And in no time you have actually created depth and perspective already to your drawing. Now that train track vanishes into the distance. There, the vanishing point. And the vanishing point is on the horizon. And that horizon line is always at the height of the eye level. Let me just add some trees along those tracks. That looks good. When I draw another taller triangle, the horizon line is higher. That also means that the eye level is higher. It's seen from above. That's why this is called the bird's eye view. With a wider triangle, you can create the view on the train tracks with a much lower horizon. The eye level, the point of view, is lower and that's why it's called the worm's eye view. Hey, and there's that bird from the bird's eye view drawing. There you go. A quick explanation of a principle that is kind of important or at least helpful to know. Also know that often when you're drawing in the streets, for, for example, that horizon line, you can't see it in real life. Of course, you can't see it when you're at sea, for example, and then you will see that the horizon line is always at eye level. So just keep this little bit of theory in the back of your mind when you're drawing. Use it as a rule of thumb and it, the more you draw, the more you draw in perspective and the more mistakes you make as well, the more you will learn and the better you will understand and get things in proportion and uh, feel more confident about your drawings. I hope this was helpful. And if you are doing any perspective drawings that you would like to share on social media, then please add the hashtag DTT in action so I can see what you make. I'll see you next week. Bye.